Okay, so welcome sa video na ito kung saan ay masasolve tayo ng mga uh, problems na kung saan ay lumabas na sa mga dating uh, RMA board exam at mga problems din na maaari lumabas sa mga susunod or darating pa ng RMA board exam. So ito yung ating problem ngayon. So a 25 watt incandescent bulb rated at 120 volts and operated on a 120 volt line has burned out and has to be replaced as soon as possible. So there are several lamps uh, available but not of the same rating. So which of the following bulbs should be used to approximate the power consumption of the bulb? So we have uh, apat na choices. So we have for A, 20 watts, 110 volts. B, 100 watts, 240 volts. Uh, letter C, 50 watts, 240 volts and 75 watts. 220 volts for letter D. So, ang gagawin natin dito is hahanapin natin kung alin dito, alin sa apat na options na bags ang kaya ang uh, kunitig i-replace sa ating na burnout na bag na 25 watts rated at 120 volts. Okay, so ano yung ito yung solution? So, ang mangyayari dito is kukunin natin itong resistance ng bawat bag tapos isasubject natin sa 120 volt na source. So, if alin man doon ang magiging equal or more than sa 25 watts, so pwede natin siyang gamitin na replacement sa ating na burnout na 25 watts 120 volt um, lamp. Okay? So, yung rating na natin ng ating bulb is 25 watts 120 volts. So, kung nagiging equal na 25 watts or more than pa, so pwede natin gamitin. Mayayari kasi pag medyo mababa yung um, uh, vo uh, voltage o mababa yung um, wattage is maaring masunog yung filament ng bulb. So, if more than naman, so there are, there are instances na kapag more than yung ano natin, wattage natin, so hindi... Um, uh, hindi na uh, ano yung ano yung mismong lumens ng bulb so hindi masyadong naging maliwanag yung abad uh, at yung ano din current at yung current consumption din niya is medyo malaki-laki but ang ating hinahabol ito is kung alin ang pwede nating i-replace so if may mag equal man or mag more than so yun yung magiging sagot natin sa uh, problem na ito okay so it, ang gagawin natin is isa-isahin natin to na kukunin yung kanyang resistance ng bawat options at isa subject sa 120 volt na line voltage. Okay? So, for letter A, okay, so, ang ano, ang wattage natin, so, our power is 20 watts, tapos, ang kanyang rated voltage, so, we'll call this as EA, is 110 volts. Okay? So, yung ano pala natin, yung line current natin, sabi natin EL, that is 120 volts. So, ito yung current na supply. Okay? So, kukunin natin yung resistance. So, this will be RA is equal to, so using uh, Ohm's law power formula, so that is A sub A squared over P. Okay? So, yung um, AA natin is 110 squared over 20 watts yung power natin. So, lagyan na natin ito ng unit pala yung ano natin. Uh, yung voltage natin. Para maging consistent naman tayo. Okay? So, using our calculator. Okay, so we have... 110 squared over 20 watts so we have 605 so 605 ohms so itong 605 ohms naman natin isa subject natin to sa so 120 volt line at kukunin natin yung kanyang power consumption so ang mangyari niyan is we have our power PL natin so this will be EL squared over RA. So, yung ano natin, E, e sub L natin, this is 120 volt squared over RA is 605 ohms. 
Okay, so gagamitan na natin ating calculator. So we have 120 squared all over 605 ohms. So we have 23.8. Okay, so 23.8 watts. So yung 23.8 watts is um lower than our 25 watts so hindi natin ito pwedeng gamitin so option A is hindi pwedeng gamitin okay now we go to option B okay so lot mo natin yung rating ng B so B is 100 watts okay so ito yung power pa yung power rating niya okay so P yung power rating ng B is 100 watts Tapos, ang kanyang voltage, so AB, is equal to 240 volts. Okay, check natin sa taas. Okay, 240 volts. Okay, so kukunin natin yung ano natin, resistance, RB. So, this will be AB squared over um, P. So, we have 240 volts squared over 100 watts and we will have so wait one then calculator natin okay so we have 240 okay 240 squared over 100 watts so we will have 576 so 576 watts. Ano? Watts comes back. Okay. Then we will calculate our power. Kung isa subject natin yung isa sa to sa um, 120 volt line. So this will be EL squared over RB. So we have 120 squared over yung RB natin is 576 ohms okay so we gamitin natin calculator natin so we have 120 squared over 576 this will be equal to 25 watts okay. so if you can see 25 watts na na compute natin is equal din sa rating ng given na valve, yung na born out na valve is 25 watts, so we could say na ito na yung gagamitin natin. So, this will be our answer. So, ipapatuloy lang natin to check if baka yung C at D is uh, may ano pa, may option pa, but most likely because yung exam is a multiple choice question, so malamang ito na yung tamang sagot. Okay? So, let's just use another color, letter C, tinanin yung rating. So, 50 watts, 240 volts. So, yung P natin is 50 watts. Then, yung E natin, this will be AC. This is 240 volts. Okay, so we will solve for our, our resistance. So, this will be AC squared over P. So, we have 240 volts squared all over so yung R, yung RC natin is ayong P natin is 50 watts okay so gagamitan na yung calculator natin so we have 240 squared all over 50 this will be equal to 1152 so 1152 ohms so, kukunin natin yung ano natin, power natin. So, PL, this is PL squared over RC. So, we have 1,152. No, no, sorry. This is 120 para 120 volt squared all over 1,152 ohms. So, we have 120 squared over 1,152 ohms. So, we will have 
watts so hindi po yun dito mas mababa then we will go to letter D okay, so mga mag go muna ganito dito so letter D so let's check the uh, wattage this is the rating 75 watts 220 volts so our P is 75 watts yung voltage niya so AD this is 220 volts okay so yung RD na din resistance for this for this bulb so this will be AD squared over P tapos just substitute so we have 220 volts squared all over 75 watts so we have so 220 squared over 75 watts so this will be equal to 60, 645.3 so 645.3 ohms so let's so solve natin yung ano natin oops Okay, so okay. so our PL so this is EL squared over RD. So we have one hundred twenty volt squared over. 645.3 ohms so we have 120 squared over 645.3 ohms sagot natin is 22.32 22.32 watts so yun yung pinakatama sagot is letter B which is equal o yung ano niya, yung power niya is 25 watts when it is subjected to a 120 volt source so yung answer dito is letter B okay so I hope may natutunan kayo sa video na to and if you want more videos like this so just subscribe to the 2D, Eng uh, to the Engineering Learning Center channel uh, merong mga iba't ibang videos doon about uh, engineering, also uh, mathematics and uh, registered master education videos. May mga discussion din doon about Ohm's law uh, and also the, cal the calculator techniques which uh, useful naman o magiging useful kapag nag-detect na kayo ng RME board exam. So as always, maraming salamat sa panonood and have a good day.